Ladies and gentlemen, greetings. My name is Chen Ju. I'm the president of Taiwan's Control Yuan and chairperson of National Human Rights Commission. It's an honor to represent Taiwan in delivering our national statement. 44 years ago, I was a political prisoner under the rule of an authoritarian government. In that repressive era, freedom of speech seemed like an unattainable dream. But 44 years later, democracy is a part of Taiwanese people's DNA. We have become accustomed to regular transfers of power between political parties and realized the idea that sovereignty lies with the people. However, we also understand that democracy does not come easily. If not protected well, our hard-won freedoms, human rights, and rule of law will not advance but recede. Following the first summit for democracy, the government of Taiwan, drawing on the strength of public sector civil society, announced 62 concrete commitments aiming to enhance democratic resilience at home and abroad. These pledges related to such issues as fighting corruption, open government, countering disinformation. And we are pleased to say that since then, we have seen many tangible results. For example, even when the COVID-19 pandemic situation was still severe, we invited international experts to Taiwan to examine national reports on the implementation of international conventions. The panel's complete review of the UN Convention Against Corruption and five international human rights conventions, the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, the International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, the Convention on the Rights of the Child, and CEDAW has ensured that Taiwan's democracy and human rights keep pace with international standards. Elsewhere, Taiwan's citizen judge system was officially launched in January 2023, allowing professional judges to directly engage with citizen judges who represent society's diverse opinions. And with the implementation of Taiwan's first National Human Rights Action Plan in May 2022, the protection of human rights is now incorporated into our nation's overall development plan and related policies. Taiwan also continues to amend legislation to eliminate barriers for LGBTQI plus persons to marriage, adoption, and health services. This is making Taiwan a more diverse, open, and inclusive society. Russia's invasion of Ukraine last February reminded the world of the expansionist nature of authoritarian regimes. The people of Taiwan empathize with the Ukrainian people's suffering and continue to take concrete actions to defend a rules-based global democratic order alongside the international community. For example, in response to the call from the United States, Taiwan has donated 400,000 US dollars to the Global Anti-Corruption Consortium for Global Advocacy Campaigns through Transparency International. We have also fulfilled our commitments to donate 1 million US dollars each to the International Fund for Public Interest Media and the International Religious Freedom Fund, thus supporting independent media and religious freedom around the world. Taiwan continues to work closely with the international democratic community. For example, the 11th Global Assembly of the World Movement for Democracy, held in Taipei last year, brought together nearly 200 democracy advocates from more than 70 countries. Following an application by Foreign Minister Zhao Xie Joseph Wu, Taiwan also became an observer member of the Freedom Online Coalition and Coalition and is now defending online human rights and freedoms alongside other countries. Meanwhile, through the Global Cooperation and Training Framework Platform, Taiwan is working with like-minded countries, the United States, Japan, Australia, and others on such key issues as anti-corruption, media literacy, and women's empowerment. This is enhancing national and regional democratic resilience. Taiwan won the support of many international friends as it trod the path to democracy. I very much look forward to sharing Taiwan's democratic experience with other democratic partners and with those who are still on the path as they too fight for democracy and freedom. Thank you. Thank you.